Hi guys, firstly thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you for all the lovely comments that I received on my last couple of videos. Uh, I've got whips, new starts, finishes, some other bits I've been up to, a uh, haul and some magazine fit throughs. I got my son off who supposedly got a bad stomach. But, come here. He's going to be helping me so he's going to sit over there so if you hear anything it's him who's going to keep passing me stuff he's already made me giggle once so <laughs> we'll see right, let's sit down. right i'm going to start with my whips okay first up thank you is my christmas at home so i haven't taken this off the frame um, you've seen the top of me. Just open the top of my If I can get it off, she says. Okay. There we go. And we've got the squeaky chair. Okay. Uh, since I last saw you, um, I'd already done this, and I'm pretty sure the progress that I'd done on this, I'd done. I've started the one, two, three, four, six room. Um, I was not at home when I started it, so I just wanted some block colour to get stitching. So, yeah, I started on this room. I've still got to go back and finish this one. I've got this one to finish and the new one got released today it's um, a Christmas tree with Santa and some presents and Santa's holding um, a little soldier which the soldier's been in every single room if you can see it's been in the attic the bathroom the present room the baby room the kitchen and I think it is on this side of the mantelpiece because that's uh, going to be a snowman so yeah I've still got the roof to finish and I'm going to be adding something to the top and there was a dog in the Christmas part and I'm going to add that to excuse me um, I'm going to add him down here instead so that I don't miss him out I just didn't have the space to put him with the way I redesigned my kitchen so that's that one. If you just clip this back on, otherwise I'm going to lose it. And then I'll be hunting all around for it. Sorry, he's got him whispering at me. Not ice coffee. Okay, my next one in a new bag that I made. One of the few. Oh, yes. This one, I'm not sure if I've made any progress on it or not since I last showed you, but I've remembered to bring the chart this time. Danny the Stitching Dragon. And that's a Dragon Dreams one. And that's my progress. I've got the blind partly closed because of the glare last time. So you see the little lines? That's from the blind that allow me enough light to show up. Okay. I don't think I have, no. Um, so in comparison to here, uh, if I can do this. Um, I started in the middle. I've got his arm bit there. there. And then I went down and did his belly and along into his tail. And I've got to finish off coming back here and then join up all his body in that. 
I will come back to this, just not sure when at the moment. Um, so yeah, and this is my needle minder is the dragon needle minder and I won't keep saying them that all from Needle Keep Emporium except for the one on my Christmas one that I bought with the sale from Lakeside Needlecraft I'll link anywhere that I mention in the links below I've got my son taking the mickey doesn't stop, I'm going to send him out and he'll lose his job <laughs> and this one is stitched on um, 28 count opal Brittany from Jodhry Designs it's a heart's ease it's the February limited edition and the Christmas at home sale is a exclusive fabric flare called winter snow again I bought that from lakeside so shush please the frame like yeah it's still on the frame it's inside yeah but like the clips they've come undone I'll find it won't I <laughs> it. I don't think it has no it hasn't it looks I'm not to it. it hasn't oh <laughs> it's gonna be a fun video oh it has I apologize let me just take this off the frame because I've left it on because it was I was working on this one. The last time I did any stitching which was Friday. Okay, the next one is one of I bought it's um all about Christmas from Jodhry Designs. I believe this was um Christmas sale last year. Keep still. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, that was the sale last year. I bought it as a whole pattern. And here's my progress from Friday. I stitched the star and started on the wording. Please. And for this I'm using um, again some threads that I got um, as part of my haul. I've got a um, chameleon thread, this one's egg yolk. I'm using forest green. I haven't got these on bobbins or in bags or anything yet, but yeah, forest green for the wording. And ruby red. And then for the bottom I've got cobalt. And I've just stored them in one of my little bags that I made and they fit perfectly and my scissors are in them as well and then that all fits nicely into my bag so yeah that was a new start and I'm stitching this on I haven't got it in here I've got some more in my haul so when I get to that, you'll I'll mention that this was what that was stitched on. I know it's 28 count and it's gold flecked. But I'll, when I get to my haul, I'll mention that. And this was also a new bag that I had made. Just white lining. It's my number nine, my pattern, my threads, because yeah. I've not organised that very well, it looks a bit, <laughs> but yeah, for that one, I line this one with 
a purple fabric. And this one I used, this one I think come out a little bit smaller as well. Yeah, a little bit smaller, but it still fits my nine by nine in, perfect. And with this one, the fabric's quite thick on the inside. A few of my bags I've used that on. Uh, it just depends on the design and what fabric I use inside as to, yeah. Okay. Yes. I know you have. I made a list of what I was going to show and he's made a list of what I'm showing and he's marking them off. So he's passing me them, but he's an eager beaver. Is it Happy Halloween? No, it's oh. not. Okay, this one I showed in my last video. I hadn't finished it, but I have now. Oh yeah, it's called Star Finish. That's what I've got that. Yes, okay. It's uh, um, Halloween Silhouettes from Doreen Jones, and I did the witchy one. And here's mine complete. I had, I believe, all these stars to stitch, and this corner, I think. And I had, I don't know if I've done all these stitches or not. To be honest, I can't remember. But I've added all the fizzle beads, black beads. There you go. There's all black beads on each of the corners and three on each part. So, shush, please. You can look after, please. Just let me do this video. And this I did on a piece of uh, pole stitches, scrap, uh, grab bag. Um, linen uh, and as you can see Halloween's been and gone and I didn't finish it off um, it's still got the needle minder and it was still in my plastic wallet so I will FFO that be for next year then. it's finished so yeah okay next it is a new start but also a finish okay and this was a freebie from kit and bixby um i don't think you can no longer get this chart it's happy halloween okay and this is just stitched on a piece of um Ada, for ink out Ada that I dyed myself that I showed last video. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really pleased with how that turned out. Again, haven't FFO'd that, but I will next year. Because <laughs> I'm not going to have time to sort it out this year now. And then this is just one of my... This should be small project bag that I made. And he's opening my bags for me and I forgot to put my chart back in here. It's what I was in there. Um. Okay. Next up and the last of my stitching that I've done. Also a new start and a finish. Is Mill Hill Wendy's cat. It looks so cute. Except that doesn't want to sit. It did. I'm going to have a fiddle with that. It's got stuck around there. There we go. There. Oh, it's got lots of bees. Really pleased with him. Again, I haven't FFO'd him. I haven't even cut it out yet. But again, I will make it into a little ornament. Okay, so that's all my stitching. I need to work on my Christmas at home sale 
I want to get that tree piece finished which shouldn't take too long considering the rate I got that much done and the new release, re release was out today for the Christmas at home sale so yeah um, I don't know when I'm going to get that finished Just in but we will see doesn't matter getting told off because I showed when my, I'm showing my witch silhouette after I've shown my new style finishes before yeah before sorry so I'm getting told off because I've ruined his little order right and these are going to be in a different order because I packed them in a different order let me just pull them all out you can pass me those I'll pass you these still Sorry, I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes on this video. Okay, I'm going to go through some fabrics I dyed last week. When he passes me one. I'm just going to go through these really quickly because I've got quite a bit to go through. Here's one. Orangey with blue. Oh. Peachy blue, no, because I haven't brought it over. I can get it. Another one. Green, purple, pink. Run and get it and I'll show you. Another one. I love this one. Blues, purples, pinks. And again, another piece, but darker. I haven't trimmed any of the edges off this. So. Do you want mine? No, I've shown those before. Have you? Yes. Oh. I'm not sure. Another piece. I don't know what I Greens and blues and. I didn't think there was any pink in it. No, there's not. That was the way the light was just catching it. I think that might be where I caught a pink maybe on it. And this paley one. Yeah, you found out a brush. Shush. It's not. They're mm. mine. Oh, um, another piece. That's why mine. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why that's got. Um, that might be one that I messed up on. But it you could be your piece. Yeah. But you continued. Okay. This could be his piece. Let go, please. I can hold that some. Have this one. Stop mm. rushing me, please. I'm not rushing. Or you won't be able to help me with any other videos. Looks like it's got. He said it looks like it's got veins in. Oh, so does this one. And this one apparently. Oh, this is even better. Okay, first part. Even wound. Okay. This is even. Yes. Shush. It's not. Oh, even. No, it's not Adrian. It's not even with.
piece of linen. This one's nice as well. I thought you want me to show yours. Yes, I do. I'm just putting mine here. You're balancing. I've got them here. Okay, and because he helped me when I was dyeing fabrics, I let him dye five, and I put think one of those in there is his. So he wants me to show I've his. Here's one. Pretty. Just a. Uh, more or less one colour in there. It was all mixed colours but this went front. That yeah. was what all mixed. This one I really like. So blue one. Faint. That's faint. And I've got this one, I don't know what he's got on it. It's faint. That's why. <sighs> yeah, that bit I'm on about. Oh I've got something like that on mine. Look, I've got black ink or something. Yeah, it looks like you've got ink on them. I don't know how, because you obviously haven't put them away. Which means you won't be allowed to do any more unless you can look after them. See? Looks like you've got ink on it. Okay, that's the last of the fabrics that I made. And so you pulled way too many out of this box. I've got all of them. Nope. Oh, you don't want them all? No, I don't want them all. I thought that's... Are these the ones you're keeping? No. Oh. Those ones, they've seen before. Okay. This is my box for my shop. Is it? Yes. Can it be called shop box then? Shush. Okay. What else have I been up to? I've been making project bags as I suck it up my last one. Mm. All of, shush please, yeah. all of these I've now opened up an Etsy shop and a page on Facebook, I'll link those below. Um, all of these that I'm mentioning are currently available except for one which sold literally just before this video started. Black fabric. It's not on the old thing. Can you take that back? Put, no, you've got a pen in your hand. I do want, want the marking if you're going to touch them. Please. If you've got anything on your hand, you're not touching them. These mm -hmm. are not my ones. We've got a horse bag. And this one is lined with my thick creamy white fabric and um, one of my orders today got theirs and just, how thick is that bag <laughs> so yeah this is coming out quite thick because of that fabric inside not that the others aren't as I'll show you in a minute um, but yeah this one's just got an extra thickness because of the fabric I used inside so some of my bags will have the extra thicker one and I've only got so much of it though we have Scotty Dogs it's just lined with black as you can see they're not thin but they're not as thick as that one for example, if I show you this one side by side, you can't really tell, but there is a difference in the thickness. Okay, next up. So I'm do that. And we've got the dragons, which I've already shown you one of because I've used it. The only one I don't have that I'm showing was the Christmas one because I've already sold and that got there to say. Um, I've got some more to make up, at least one more bag, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. But the rest of these are still available. 
Can we have this one? Again with the cream. We have this beautiful butterfly fabric. This one I think I lined with black. That's one of my favourites, and this one's one of my favourites. Stitching and sewing. And this one's lined with pink hearts inside. Sold. And then this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already shown this one before. Yeah, oh, you might have. I don't know. I don't know if I have or not. Not sure if I've shown this one before. It's just a princess bag. It's just lined with a plain fabric. And, that's and then my last one, this one's actually sold. It's got no like stuff inside. And this black cat. And it's got this orange swirls in. inside. Um, again, I've got enough fabric to make another one of these. Mm. I have got another bag which I haven't finished making. Bear with me, I'll go and grab it so you can see the fabric. I am killing it today. And you. Can you show them what I made? I've attached the <laughs> zip and the lining and the interfacing but yeah that's the one that I haven't finished in. Yes. they're interfaced and lining zip I've just got to sew all that together um, yeah and that's actually my bag um it's just not ready to go yet hopefully i'll get that done this week okay okay can you move that okay and then i had to play around with some bags of trying to make a different style bag uh, i haven't missed up oh. i just didn't like them Shush, please. I haven't messed up the, the way they're meant to be. Oh. They are meant to be. They're the box bottom. Personally, I wasn't happy with them. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like them. Not, they're not for me anyway. And by the time you've cut, and because these are in two pieces, it takes longer to cut. And you've got the box bottom to sort. It looks like a handbag. <laughs> it took longer to make this bag <laughs> than normal. So what I did with my other piece that I had cut. You didn't do the box bottom. I didn't do the box bottom. I made it into a flat one. So it makes it a little bit bigger as well because you're not cutting out of the bottom. Um, so yeah, I preferred this. So I'm going to make a couple maybe this sort of size wise um for my shop i haven't decided yet i've cut some um fabric up to do some like these so we'll see um but i think they, those ones are cut for me the box. no because they're not shop ones oh. just leave them on their place just leave them on their place Trying to be organised and yeah. oh, they're both the same fabric. Yes. Oh, is that a book um, thingy book one? Yes. Mm. That looks better. This was a box one. Yeah, I haven't pulled it out properly. It looks good, that one. I preferred this one, but again, still not for me. 
Um, so I went ahead and made a flat one. Oh, are you going to do all the box ones and then do the same with the like? And then I just plain fabric. Mummy, are you going to do like a box one then do that after? No, oh. I'm just going to make these ones. Oh no. Again, as you can see, there is a difference in the size because these have got the flat bottom, which I haven't pulled out properly. Um, and that one. So, yeah. I experimented, wasn't happy. I just wanted to try a different style. Right, ready for the No, can you stop, please? Just the box. Yes, I know that's the box. It's in the bag. I want certain things first. Okay, I've got two things that I uh, got as a rack. One of them is a chart, and I've got so many notifications here. Let me just load one of my. Right, so up. I can find it. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to leave this lady because I ordered some charts as well. Okay. I received this one as a wrap from Laura. It was completely unexpected. It's QS Cup of Tea Bear. It was on my wish list. And he's so cute. It's from heaven and earth. It's cute. He looks like Panton. He looks similar to Panton, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. I'll leave that loaded because I've got some charts to show. And then I received this one from the lovely Catherine. Um, Why Hold Gold? It's a uh, Dragon Dreams. It says. Why hoard gold when you can hoard chocolate? <laughs> yeah, I can see next year being a year of dragons, especially when you see these other couple that I got. <laughs> so yeah, love this one. Thank you, Kelly. Like <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've got kitten up to do for this one from Laura. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> no, I've got fabric and I've got um, my full um, DMC that I just probably need to get some photo from my own row. Yes, Laura watches. Oh, so she's introduced. Okay, yes, she's introduced. Um, and I've got this one that I ordered because Hayd were having a sale. I've never done one of these. Well, I've never done a Hayd till this year. It's Story Keep Gossamer Princess. Sit mm. still, please. And I know Catherine ordered this one and she purchased it for Jane. So I think they're going to stitch that together at some point. It looks like I've got a headband on from the lights. It looks like I've got a headband. Yeah. It's the light coming yeah. through from there, otherwise I've got too oh. much glare. Then I got Story Keep uh, Cooking for Your Dragon. Okay. Right, it says cooking for your dragon, a cookbook for chocolate lovers. Cute little dragon with cookies and chocolate. Okay, a bit better. I know you like chocolate and cookies. And then my last one that I got. Was Story Keep Effects of Coffee. I've just seen this one in Marvel. Then. There we go. Investigating the effects of coffee on the mind. I, I like coffee. And um, that's everybody who watches this video knows that I have to have my coffee. Okay, um. Yeah, I did purchase another chart from Juddery. I don't mm. think I've figured that out. Yet. 
That's pretty nice. Well, I like it. Uh, there's some here. That's your pattern. That's my... That's your thingy pattern. Shush, please. It's here if I've got it. I don't think I've moved it out. I didn't print it out because I wasn't planning on starting it yet. Let me find it for you guys. Because uh, Drudgery Designs were doing um, a buy one get one free. Again, I think this was a sale at some point. It's see you later alligator. See you later alligator. In a while crocodile. Be a sweet parakeet, have a hug, ladybird, blow a fish, goldfish, take care, little bear, out the door, dinosaur, see you soon on the moon. So I can't remember if I bought this one or the Christmas one, but I got this one free. What's the second one? See you soon on the moon. Oh, that's not a pattern. No, that's not the pattern, that's the design. Drudgery. And then I ordered um, some threads, which I'll get to. And she told us to choose a free pattern for doing that. So I chose—I didn't realise that, but I chose these black web butterflies. I think they'll be really pretty in some of these threads that I've got. Give I bought these. Okay, we've got Wuthering Heights. She did a Christmas bag to live with Chica and from Jodry Designs. We've got a Dory Moment. Yes, sure, shush. Yeah, all, all of this is Jodry Designs. Oh, no, shush. Looks a bit like it. Um, I'm just going to go through this because I've got a few other bits to go through. We've got Pale Peacock. Don't copy what I'm saying, it's supposed to be sat there. We've got Emperor Moth. These we didn't get to choose what was in them, they were just going to be a random selection, but I'm really pleased with these. I think there's only one or two I might already have, but that's fine. Um, I'll use them for things. I've used some of them already, like from my previous ones that I got at the beginning of the year. We've got Mermaid's Tail. Got Blue Morpho Butterfly. It looks like ocean. Yeah. We've got um, Atlas Moth. But here, I'll do something. I'll give you a new compact back yeah. in the bag. We've got Out of Orbit. Orbit. Um, I don't know how you pronounce this word. Salven Orb. We've got lilac breasted roller bird. Silver. Silver. That's it. We've got um, sense and sensibility. We've got quartz medley. Excuse me a second. We've got this one's coming on now. Glinda the Good. I think I might have this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's just come undone. It's fine. We've got Sunset Beach. We've got Crystal Seas. We've got Violet Parakeet. We've got Autism Awareness, 
really pretty. We've got Aurora Aurelis. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Mm -hmm. My brain's not letting me function. We've got a uh, sparkling cyanide. Aurelis. Aurelis. I've gone past that now, so just shush. Sh what are you saying what it is? Okay. Melonia Paradise Moth. Yeah, well, I showed the tag on the screen, so it's fine. Mm. We've got Harvest Moon. We've got O Christmas Tree. This one I think I've already got. It's really pretty. It's Bagpuss. This one's really pretty. Christmas Twinkle. We've got, he's going to say something now, Scooby Dooby Doo. Yeah, don't start singing. Or whether you want to be going off. I think I've got this one as well. It's Cha Cha Cha. Well, I don't want to scare people off, you know, so don't. <laughs> We've got Into Darkness. We've got autumn berries. Nearly there now. We've got fiery topaz. And we've got the old curiosity shop. And last one, lavender clouds. There's two or three names that are songs. Yes, there it's is. A Christmas tree. Yeah, a Christmas tree and Scooby Doo. Right, is this one? Mm -hmm. So this one, I'll take some of these up. Okay, and next, I'll go through this bag. Oh, why oh, can't I hand it in? Just some. Uh, from Lakeside Needlecraft, I got, I haven't used it yet, but the Chronic Custom Corder. I ordered this with my frame. And this has come in since. And I'm still waiting on uh, this month's week's Dye Works for a club. Um, Does this good enough? I thought we'd be here by now if I pay for it every week ago, but it's not turned up, so I can't show you. And if you want, and not in there, no in the box and uh, this is going to be my last video for a while so they're going to be put away so I had two more um, chameleon threads that I bought this one and that's um, Prove I think is a, the price stickers over the top and then this one is watermelon Okay, I've got a couple of orders from so and so. Don't crinkle it because it will. All of these. No, don't do because you're going to crinkle it. Stop it now. Because that will be picked up. Just leave it open and that's it. All of these were like under a pound, so I grabbed them. Uh, we've got Water Lilies, Arabian Nights. Uh, was it Water Lilies or was it Wildflowers? I don't know. Wildflowers. Got Wildflowers, Mardi Gras. Wildflowers, Sahara Sunset. Oh, there's two Wildflowers. The wildflowers is the name, they're all Karen, oh. Karen threads. We've got watercolours, Aurora. You should dye threads. I'm not dyeing Get threads, don't. We've got a uh, wildflower on Sahara. Wildflowers, sandalwood. 
Wildflower Smoky Mountains. I've got another watercolours one called Lilac. Oh, I love Wildflowers Porcelain Blue. Wildflowers Crystal Bay. We've got Impressions. Just got colour 6014. Oh, they are actually different types of threads in here. Because they're different makes from the same person, they're caram oh. threads. We've got wildflowers. I'm not even going to try. I could possibly try. And I've got the shape, so. No, I don't want you to try, so just put them. I'm just looking at it. Watercolour Santa Fe. Oh, that's easy. Um, impressions Plum. Oh, that one was easy. Yeah, okay. Impressions Titanium. It's actually a bit greener than that's showing. Um, It's actually greener than what it's showing on the video. It's we've blue. got, yeah, but it's a greeny blue yeah. the way it's showing. We've got a uh, um, impressions fiesta. Why is it showing like them green? No, it's showing different to how it is. Oh. Don't worry. We've got wildflowers twilight. And again, this has got more greens in there, and they're not like so coisy blue, greeny. It's showing up darker. I don't want to open this blind because otherwise I'll end up with a load of glare. We've got water lilies, baby's breath. What colour? What's that baby's breath? No, it doesn't smell like baby's breath. It's sat there sniffing it. We've got <laughs> wildflowers, desert shadow. <laughs> Again, that's not showing up properly. Let's see if I can. Whether this is going to blind me or there not. There is a scent. There's a thread scent. There's a thread scent, is there? There you go. I've got, now I've got a nice mark on my forehead. It might help. <laughs> Impressions Winter Sky. <gasps> We've got Wildflowers Cherry Cordial. My house is like a winter sky when it's not winter. It um, same will be. Yeah. It's cold it's enough. Lovely. Might only be autumn, but it's cold enough. We miss summer. Impressions Mediterranean. Oh. <gasps> Take it you like that one. Yeah. I'll yeah. keep it. I'll hide it like You're not having it. Wildflowers Indigo. Why are they going to bob these up? I'm not. They're going in um, bags. Mm. What do you mean they're going in bags? In bags in my boxes. I thought you sell. No, in my boxes. What the way I store my week style works and things. I'm I'll show you later. Them. Impressions silver blue. Oh, that's nice. He likes that one too. That one gets approval. We've got wildflowers. Rario. So is there waterflowers and the watermelon or something? Mum. And then I got four egg crew because they were under 20p. <laughs> you studies. And then we've got Northern Lights Flushed. Northern. Oh, I'm trying to cut that one. Yeah, that's not. I need to do shine it in the light. No, it's fine. There is light. What? Northern what? Lights Sweet Rose. Northern Lights Orange Fandango. Oh, that might smell nice. And then uh, Northern Lights Medium Carnation. I don't think that one is. Okay, that was my first lot. Oh. And I spotted those before I knew there was a sale. Uh, but they were all in sale. Right, so we just got that last bit. Right, 
Have you got these given? And then I've got a bag. Have you got them given? No. These are all bits that I picked up. But you've got given in here in magazines. Yeah, I've done the given bit, which was my racks from Laura and Kat. I don't know what I've done that. Yeah, exactly. So I can mark my given off. I did get a sewing box that was only like £2.80 in the sale. Um, but I haven't got that here. Can you go and get my sewing box off the table, please? Okay, when I was saying I wasn't sure what I'd stitch something on, it was on a piece of this. It's 28 count Britney Gold flecked white. And I've got a few pieces of that. Okay. And my storage. I'm not going to open it, it's just got all my bits for my sewing machine, which Santa brought me earlier. I've got a new sewing machine. There you go, you take it back. Um, and I got 36 count linen, grey white spots. And they were all fairly cheap in the sale. These are the last of the threads. Um, we've got another baby's breath because I love the first one that came in. We've got Wildflowers Hint of Mint. You can see there's a hint of like a minty colour in there. We've got uh, Wildflowers Arabian Nights. Looking at this, I'm not sure if I've already got one, but we'll use it. I've got Needlepoint Silk Atlantic Blue Range. I don't think you've had that one we've gone through. I haven't got that one, but I don't know. No, that. that one. Yeah, okay. that's the one I've had. I tried to get ones that I haven't already got, except for one. We've got Berry Red Range. Again, Needlepoint Silk. Except that one. Yes, in the baby mm -hmm. breath. Okay. Let's smell. I'm going to have to baby breath. We've got Ice Blue Range, Needlepoint Silk. Again, these were all well under a pound. We've got Northern Lights Old Silver. Love this one. We've got Karen Water Lilies uh, Savannah. The only one that wasn't under a pound, I think it might have just, just been over, was the Baby's Breath one. We've got I'll do the rest of the Karen ones. Uh, Snow by Karen, Canary Yellow, Sparkly. It's actually okay. Then the rest of the Karen ones. Okay. Last Northern Light one is Lavender Mist. Then two more needle point silk, so soft. <gasps> soft, I want it. Magenta range, they're all soft, all of these. <gasps> they feel so and nice. then have I got two of these. That's soft, because that's not soft. Blue yeah, it must have been called something like that. Oh, just because it's range. Lilac range, no, the glitter is because it's got. Yeah, glitter on But it is still soft at the same time. Yeah, I agree. And then we've got some Gloriana silk. Um, we've got um, desert rose. They're weird though. How? It's the way they're designed. Right, orange. Yeah. This is weird. Orange soda. <gasps> soda. You think that they are? Mm -hmm. I love soda. It's a dark one. That one. We've got um, lemon ice. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but there is really subtle variation. I, I can see it. It's weak lemon. Yeah. It's got um, ice. We've got rosebud green. Oh, green. Did you say rosebud? Rosebud. It's bud. And we've got spring green. Got 
Monet's Pond Green. We've got Rosebud. And we've got Gilded Pink. And um, just a couple of DMC that were well, added. Cheap. Okay, that's all my threads. What shall I put them in there for you? Oh no, that's a lot of it. Just leave it. I got the Tidy Tidings for no, nine, sorry, embellishment pack. They were cheap. I've got Lorem example. I don't think I showed this last time. Apologies if I have. It's Lizzie Kate. And it comes with fabric, the beads, and the little apple charm. I can't remember if I showed this one or not. So I picked up. The rest of these I know I haven't shown. We've got hang in there. It comes with the cute little cap. It's got green threads. And we've got another dragon. Naughty. Yeah, I'll get to that. We've got Summer's Magic. My summer magic never fade. Oh, May Summer's Magic never fade. And then Noddy and Friends chocolate. Mm -hmm. Don't show them the charts. Everything that's inside, I think, is on the cover anyway. And yeah, that one, the other ones, the other picture inside that one. Right, can you put these back into here for me? Even all these threads. I actually don't, I'll do them because I don't want them to get bent. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> You're nearly done. I am nearly done. Sort of. I've got this kit. Luke S. Yes. Yes. Bruno Bear, the bread. bathtub. Um, the threads come all pre wound, the rank of threads. And I've done two of the Luca S kits, uh, Bruno ones uh, for a friend, and they're really easy to work with. I had no problem with the threads, no problem at all with these. Yes, I know your friend's called Luca, and this is on 16 count Ada. So, yeah, and so I've done two different Bruno ones, and I had no problems with them at all. I've got this pack, this pack, and then the magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to be in here, you can go. Nah, I've got to the magazines. You haven't got to. to. I want It's my job. Okay, and we've got little house needleworks, the old doll. One, two, three, four. And it says, she sits on a shelf, tattered and worn, a hair a mess, her apron torn. With just one look, she's it's plain to see this doll was very loved by me. And it's got the little doll and the teddy on the like on a shelf. The bookend. There's bookends even. And then I'm not going to show that one because I'm it might be a I might make it up as a Christmas gift and I don't I know that person will watch my video. What one? Nothing. Will you tell me after? I'll show you after. And then this one is the magic of love. Find the magic of love and hold it always in your heart. Just do you want twisted threads? Um that one I thought made a cute um Valentine ornament. We've got hooray for snow days from waxing moon designs. Cute little snowman. It's stuck on in there. Yeah, it's the actual picture. We've got country uh, bits and pieces uh, from 
during my junction. And we've got Alphabet, Alphabet Girls Free again from Alphabet. Jeremiah Junction. These are S to Z. You meant to say free as a number. Right. Then we've got Tail Waggers number two. Yes, doggies. Oh, I lied. I found some more threads. These are the last I promise. There's more right behind it, but... Okay, okay, these are all Northern Lights. We've got Creamy Yellow. Is that what his name is? It's creamy Yellow, yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do this. Creamy Yellow. You were going to find the pattern. There we go. more peach than it's showing up it's not kind of it's really um, nice maybe it'll show up the oh, we've got northern lights old silver yes i've already got one of these this must have been the very last one did yes oh, yeah. i've shown Noddy. northern lights peach peachy ginger and Northern Lights Canary Yellow. Are you coming out of different? Oh no. Which I'm not sure again if I'd already picked that one up. I you might have. Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Okay, I'm not going to show that. Oh, because, for the same reason. Yes, for the same reason. You've got to tell me now. I got uh, these two charms. I don't want to put them up bad, but there's a little well, charm and a button, a little ducky, and a little carousel horse. So have you got? Can I put that here? Yes. Like more frets. No, I can do it. Just, so I'll just leave those. No kit frets. And then we've got her Cupid charm. Mmm, Cupid. Cupid. And there's a little arrow. Oh, there's an arrow. And they're like 7 and 9p. Why do you need to take that out? Because oh, there's more than one in here. Oh, that's good. Shush. Please! <laughs> You're going to have to in a minute as well. Why? Okay, we've got Lizzie Kate's Spring Basket. Lizzie Kate Summer Basket. We've got Glendon Place Mini Memories of Love. We've got Friends Alphabet. Um, by Elizabeth Designs. We've got a uh, cluttered kitchen by Sue Hill Designs. A cluttered kitchen is a happy kitchen, and this one is delirious. We've got Queen of Hearts Needle Book uh, from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. Um, we've got Ladybug Picnic, uh, just my imagination. Well, you know that one by Wendy on there? Was that the one that's on your Halloween cat? Or is it just no, it's something different. No, it could be called Wendy Cat's one. Oh, okay, we are finally I'll there with all my haul. I'll give the gift first. Just stop, please. Because I don't want that one first. Just give. Thank you. Put that lot in there. Oh, you yeah. want something to do? I've got a job. Yes, you've got a job. Then go. <laughs> nah. Okay. I'm not sure what I did with the free gift that I got with this because I think I took it with me last weekend, but I can't find it. Cross stitch crazy. And this is December 2017 issue. I'll get you a picture of the free gift. Okay. We got those in it. Oh, I thought you started that. I haven't started it. I took it with me. 
Okay, so I'll do a flip through these. We've got this one, Winter Fairy Tale. And this is... Margaret Tarrant design. That's quite cute. Not my thing, but quite cute. We've got this Quinona Rider. There's 50 retro Christmas gift ideas from Emma Condon. Little bits in there. I've got those little cute, cute cat stockings. I can't show you the rest of them, but there's some really nice ones. Oh, We've got Art of Winter, their chalkboard designs uh, by Becky Spencer. These are different. We've got uh, Crazy for Office Christmas Party. There you go. <laughs> if you saw that, you saw that. I can't show it up because it's just the charts. But there is no picture. But it'd be hard to tell if you showed it anyway. It wouldn't if I kept it up long enough. <coughs> We've got Classic Christmas. Uh, and they are all different Christmas letters. You can make up a name or whatever you want to. Mm. Oh, we've got to say they are by Lucy Heaton. We've got Doll's House by Colleen Carrington. Thing, how to make the Russian dolls up and then we've got Puppy Party by Doreen Jones Miracle by Cheryl McKinnon. We've got um, Holiday Home from Shannon. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to butcher her name, but. What's in this? trying to pronounce it. And we've got mm. uh, the Challenge Lucy section. Mm. And we've got Crazy for Kids. Oh, kids! And uh, they're bright baubles by Poppy. They're not. Cute little ornaments. It looks like you've dug them. And then in next issue, there's a free gift from Emma Condon, the Christmas hoop. Off to the ball, Stitch Lucy Heat and Cinderella. Quick gifts, pretty pendants, reach for the Star Galaxy hoops. It's one of the pages. And then we've got Best of Friends, Celebrating Style, Read My Stitches, Hit the Slopes. It's like full cost, it's crazy. They sit in crazy next month. Yes, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll in this. We'll sit quietly then. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the world across stitching, and this is issue 262. And this came on Saturday when I was on here. Christmas cuties. Season of 
given um, from Nicola Mason. A cute Santa drop. We've got uh, Winter Brights from Amanda Gregory. We've done another one. I've done one magazine. I thought this one was a really cute one. Travelling Home by Doreen Jones. We've got a uh, sparkle and shine from Fabi Riley or Riley. We've got pet of the month um, from Doreen Jones. Grey pack. There's festive cheer design library. Show you a couple of pages. No Lisa Ricks, Chief of Design. No. Sorry, I don't know if they are from her, it's just, just a quote from her. Um, I'm not sure who they're by. Not sure who they're by, sorry guys. I love this one. It's Get Your Skates On by Doreen Jones. How cute is this? Not that cute. I think it's a cute one. Oh, shut up. Shut up. That's one. really, really cute. I'd love to do this one. But with moving and um, whatnot, um, yeah. it must be next year. Well, maybe not next year, but maybe Christmas. And we've got a uh, picture perfect. This one's really cute. Susan Bates design. There's snowman in the house. We've got goodwill for all. And these are from Leslie Tier. Spinning piece, but it's um, alphabet. You can see in a minute, I'll give you the magazine. Uh, we've got Ephoril. Is it Ephoril? I don't know. You can see yourself again from Shannon. I can't pronounce her last name. But it's Ephoril Elegance. Okay. Oh, it's a cute stocking. Well, not cute stocking, sorry, nice stocking. Again, not my style, but it's nice. And we've got Let's Sail Away um, from Jenny Vandewa. Oh, oh. Ornaments for the tree. Cup inspired bookmarks complete with tea bags. 
There's a new baby, there's some cards, there's a um, hot water bottle cover. That's cute. Ain't my free gift. What's that? Then there's um, a uh, furry, a floral cup, robots A, B, C. And I know I'm going to love the free gift because I love Tatty Teddy. It's a Stitcher's Diary. It's got a lot of patterns in that in. So there we go. And that just about sums up everything I've got to show you. So I've mentioned everything and gone through everything I pulled. Uh, any places that I've mentioned, I'll pop links to their websites down below. I will pop my um, page down below and my Etsy shop. Also, if you're on Instagram, feel free to follow me there. I try and do daily updates when I stitch daily. That is. So if I've done some stitching, I'll post an update. Um, as for my next video I don't know when that's going to be this is going to be my last video in this house um, I move in like two weeks so and I'm not sure where to yet um, so things are going to be a bit upheaval for a little while um, so I'm not sure when I'm going to be back might not be this year it might be in the new year we will see I mean I might be able to do a video um, mm -hmm. from where I am temporarily if need be um, I'll see uh, I'm not going to promise anything because if I don't see you all I will be back um, but it might not be until next year um, so yeah all my progress will be on Instagram uh, I've got a lot of packing to do so my stitching is going to be limited for a little while over the next couple of weeks, although I'm suffering still from the weekend at the minute. Um, I think I'm pretty just going to sort of stitch for the rest, put this lot away. Um, now that I can get this lot packed up, which is the reason why I wanted to get this video done, even though I hadn't got masses of stitching in progress. I wanted to get the video done so I could get all this packed now, because that's everything in, except for my week style work threads. Um... But yeah, the plan is I want to finish the Christmas at home sale, uh, do that tree. I've got the bands of variation sale, the new parts out for that. And Christmas sale. I've already just mentioned the Christmas sale. So yeah, those three are three things that I do want to work on because I do want to keep up with the bands of variation sale if I can. I don't want to fall behind because I fell behind with sales this year and I've still not caught up. But I will work on them next year. They're not going anywhere. I've got all the patterns and that for them. So I'll get them done in my own time. Yeah, they're sales and there's going to be people finished. But for me, stitching's about enjoying what you're doing. There's no rush just because people have finished. You know, if I enjoy something, I'll stitch it. If I'm not, if you know, if the pressure's there to get it done... I've done that before with gifts and you don't enjoy it so I stitch what I want to stitch when I want to stitch but sometimes with sort of little deadlines in my head of you know like the bands of variation I want to keep that on top but that should only take a day or two the Christmas at home sale is going to be my longest to sort out um so what I plan to do is work a day on that then work on whatever I want to work on then another day I just don't want to get burnt out on it and not finish it because you know it's getting close to being finished um what else um I know there's a couple more sales coming out from Lakeside Needlecraft uh, one's already done a pre-order one it's um buds in bloom and there's another one um it's a house one i'm not planning on signing to either of those i've got enough sales from this year to sort out um i'm not buying any more now um until yeah i have got um 
a stitchy advent calendar all paid and sorted and I've been shown that it's all ready buying for two bits she's waiting to come in so I uh, will be definitely showing that off but might not be you till the new year broke. yeah just and she's told me that the 25th is my Christmas present from her so I'm really looking forward to that as that was planned months ahead and yeah really looking forward to that I just asked as a favour if she would do it for me so yeah I'm not gonna mention who where or anything at the moment because it was just done as a special favour and I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to be inundated because it had to be done and paid and whatnot so that it'd be posted out so that I've got it ready for the first so she's going to send that um, to where I requested for me so I'm really looking forward to that uh, anything else yeah um, I've been making some more bags up as I said before prices depend on um, there are different prices but it depends on what I get the fabric for because some fabrics are dearer uh, I sourced a load of fabrics from fabric shops locally well not locally but locally to where I was um, the other weekend and I bought them from a local business so obviously they cost me more than what I had sourced my other ones for but I got to see them and you know feel what they're actually like so, and I loved every single fabric I picked up otherwise I wouldn't have picked them up um, I won't be dyeing any more fabrics um, probably this year now um, I'm going to pack all my dyes and they're all together anyway but I'm just going to sort of seal that box up I did my last lot of, sort of fabric down last week um, I just wanted to get that out of the way because Catherine sent me some fabric she asked if I would dye for her so I did and I can't show you that because that's gone and she got that today don't you have a picture of it? Uh, she did send a picture for but it doesn't matter um, so yeah so I think that's everything thank you ever so much for watching sorry for the little interruptions um so yeah until next time guys um that's it for me like i said i don't know when that's going to be yet um i'm about a week two weeks behind on floss tube i am catching up um but yeah i plan to catch up when i'm doing some stitching and things so i am catching up i was only a week behind and then everyone's posted more videos since sort of like Thursday there's I don't know quite a few since then so I don't know they're all on my watch later list and I had got it under 20 videos and now I think I'm over 30 if not more so I am getting there and I have been behind on Instagram as well and I keep going through them but I apologize if anybody that I'm following on Instagram because my list keeps getting bigger um, over 700 um, followers. followers on there so yeah it is a bit hard to keep so track sometimes me, but, but I'll um, post the link to my Instagram so that while I'm away that's his finger <laughs> while I'm away my any progress that I do do will be on there so yeah I'm not going to say have a good Christmas and New Year because hopefully I'll be back before then but just in case I'm not yeah any questions any comments feel free to pop them down um, yeah i'll see you guys next time bye